everybody welcome back to another yoga slash stretch class can't believe it's the end of May another month has gone I hope you are well we're going to start with a simple warm-up with a twist standing with your feet comfortably apart what I'd like you to do is to gaze out into the distance take a deep breath in And a deep breath out. And now I'd like you to keep breathing and just focus on the music. And while you're breathing, listening to the music in the background, become aware of your feet on the floor. See if you can figure out what side of the body is carrying more weight. Where is your focus? If you're right-handed, it will probably be the right side. So what I'd like you to do is close your eyes for a second and just even out your body weight over both feet. Don't forget, deep breaths in, deep breaths out. It just helps to center our minds. Good, everybody. This is also called the mountain pose. You open your eyes. And now let's see if we can stand absolutely still for 10 seconds without fiddling, without moving anything except our eyes that blink. Starting now. Now breathe in, shoulders up, and exhale, breathing in, breathing out, bend the arms, breathe in, breathe out, and now start to move from one foot to the other. Gently rock the arms from one side to the other. Let the arms flow. Good. Four more. Two more. Center. Breathe in. Arms go halfway up. Looking up at the ceiling. Open your arms in a V. Look up. Exhale, turn them around and push them back and look down at the floor. Breathe in, head goes up, arms go up in a V. And on the exhale, we rotate and we look down at the floor. And again, breathe in. Very, very gentle movements to get the mobility in the neck, mobility in the shoulders. One more time. And exhale. Good, everybody. Swing your one arm in front of you. Soft knees. Soft knees, very important if you're still warming up in any class. Don't lock your knees, very dangerous for not only the knees, but for the backs. One more. Swap arms. No effort, let it just flow. And two more. One more. Excellent, everybody. Now, intertwine your fingers place them above the head. You might not see my whole arm. Let me just step back and you're going to reach up and as you reach up you're going to breathe in, go onto the toes and exhale, come down. We 
do this a few times to open the vertebra, space out the vertebra, breathing in, especially the spine important. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last stretch, sway. Now here again, please make sure you are bending the knees. A little bit different than the twist that we're doing. Center your head, step it out, and now swing. Bend knees at all times, keep the tummy in, and only twist from the waist up. Don't let the knees go. And relax. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good, everybody. We're going to start with a sequence. I'm going to do everything bent knees so that we make sure everybody is warmed up properly. If you just joined me, warm welcome to the yoga class. We're going to start with our feet comfortably apart, quite wide, wider than the hips, not too wide. You must still be comfortable. Then we're going to turn our one foot towards the wall, making sure the hips stay forward, and this foot turned towards the front so that the knee is in its natural position. We're going to breathe in, arms up. Now we're not going to hold it for long. We're going to exhale, bend into warrior two. Then we inhale, hands together, in, halfway down in prayer, almost like the tree, oh sorry, the tree, yes, <laughs> tree, and then we inhale, and we exhale, and we warrior one, two, two, <laughs> breathe in, hands together, and exhale, use this bump to push the hip gently forward, and exhale, and one more, breathing in, Hands down, relax shoulders, breathing in, and now we hold for four counts. Now, we're going to pull this arm in, the arm goes up, you breathe in, you look at that thumb pointing at your ear, and we exhale back. We're breathing in, we're breathing out. We're breathing in, we're breathing out, and now we hold. Two more. Coming up. Turn the body, don't forget the back foot, you're in warrior one. Arms go up. Relax the shoulders. Now we're going to breathe in straight to the front knee. Arms go back. Exhale, bend the front knee, lift up. As you lift up, use this bump to push it forward, knee line with the ankle. We breathe in, we breathe out. Straighten the legs, stretch the arms back. Inhale, exhale out. Stay in warrior one. We're going to work with the same arm as the leg that you bend. We're going to inhale, look back, and exhale, straighten and bring the arm forward. 
breathe in, look at the hand going back, exhale back in. Breathe in, breathe out. One more time. Breathe in, breathe out. Now twist and hold. Arms forward, straight and left. Bending forward, straight leg. Swing the arms back. Excellent. Turning into the side, hips in line. Ready, warrior two. Bend the knees and straighten. And bend and straighten. And bend and straighten. Bend and hold. Very good, everybody. Bringing the arms down. Same arm as the front leg. We straighten that leg. And we're going to breathe in. Look back. And exhale straight. Breathe in. Bend leg. And exhale straight. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Last time, hold. One more breath. Excellent. Arms up. Breathe in, straight leg. Exhale. Everybody, well done. Now, turn your toes forward, breathe in. Arms up. Exhale, look up at the ceiling. Now, without doing much, simply tilt your pelvis, pushing your pelvis forward with your glutes, and reach up, stretching right into the pelvic area, the hip flexors. Yeah, all these lower muscles are being stretched. I don't know about you, but sometimes my hips are a little bit stiff. So this is a nice stretch for that part of the body. Two more. Now center the head. Open the arms. Straight or bent legs. Breathe in, tummy in. We're going to go halfway down. Keeping your head in line with your neck, neck in line with the spine. Opposite arm to opposite leg, holding 
placing your hand on your shin, on your foot, or in front of the floor, and feeling how flexible you are, looking up at your hand. One more breath. Now we're going to drop the bottom, back arm, place it on your leg behind you, and just turn your head. Very, very simple. Feel that lovely stretch in your, the inside of the leg into the glute. Simple, simple, simple. One more. Good, everybody. Turn the head, open the arms, breathe in. Other side, hand on the shin, foot, or floor. Reaching up. Two more breaths. One more breath. Good. Nice stretch for the calf. Reaching up. Hands come back. Down. One hand drops. Other hand stretches. And turn the head. Two more. Good, everybody. Lower the arms. Place your knuckles on the floor and straighten the arms. Now peel it off the floor. Curl the body up. Remember the head is the last thing that you lift up. Never lift your head earlier. Always last. It weighs 5 kilograms. If you lift it earlier up, you can injure your neck. Good everybody, bring the legs in and shake it off. Now we're going to sit down for some more stretches. And what I think I'm going to do now is I want to show you how to stretch your feet. Ladies, especially for you, intertwine your fingers into your toes. If it's not comfortable, just hold your toes and under the leg over here. Now what I'd like you to do is push the toes back as far as you can and then pull them towards your knee. And then push them back and pull them towards the knee. Very, very nice stretch for the top of the foot as well as the Achilles tendon. So if you are wearing high heels a lot, Wonderful stretch for you. One more time. And relax. Good, everybody. Other foot. Now we're going to push the toes back towards the knee. And then pull the toes forward towards the knee. And then push it as far back as you can. And pull it towards the knee. Very, very nice stretch. And one more. And relax. Good, everybody. Let's do a sitting sequence. Straightening our legs, rolling the shoulders back. We're going to do this one more sequence, and then we're going to have a lovely weekend. So what we're going to do is start off by breathing in, breathing out, looking up, arms again in the knee. Back people don't lean back, otherwise lean ever so slightly back, stay on the sitting boat, tummy's in. We hold for four more. I'm going to make this a little bit longer, two more. Excellent. Now on the next inhale, center the head, lower the arms, don't let the lift, shoulders lift, exhale. Looking straight ahead, inhale, exhale, reach forward. Good, everybody. Now breathe in. Arms up again. One arm goes down. One arm stays in the air. And we turn the head and we look at this arm. Now we bend the head, the arm rather over the head so it just rests here turn this arm around on the 
next inhale open the arms turn the head keep your arm there take this arm breathe in exhale as you bring the arm forward drop this arm take it to the back and reach for something someone behind you the back arm can be bent this is a nice stretch for the psoas muscle, shoulder blades, relax the shoulders if you want. And we recover. We breathe in, we start from the top. We exhale, we lean forward looking straight ahead. Two more breaths. Now we breathe in, exhale, open the arms. Arm goes up, head turns. Two more breaths here. And now we bend the arm, let it rest on top of the head, turn the other arm around and hold. Just stretch in the neck, shoulder blade area, arms. A static stretch for the biceps and the triceps and the trick of the trade everybody in yoga is can you relax in a pose that is advanced yoga if you can't put your legs behind your head it doesn't matter now breathe in exhale lower the hand open the arms oops and talking about something else bend the arm and reach corner or the back of the mat. You might feel this running into the hip a little bit. It's because it's in the old psoas muscle. And relax. We take a deep breath in. We bend the legs. We exhale. Bring the hands down. Intertwining the fingers. We breathe in. We breathe out. We circle, we breathe in, we breathe out. Yes, this is done also with straight legs. This morning I'm incorporating it for something else, so we're keeping the legs in this position. Now breathe in, breathe out, let go of the fingers and turn. Now the focus is more on the lower part of the back, the psoas muscle and recover. Circles the other way. Two more. One more. Again, let it go and twist. Two more. And sit. Good everybody. Bring your legs in. Take a deep breath in, and we're going to exhale, swing onto the side, stretch the arms, stretch the leg. Now you might not feel much, so what I'd like you to do is move this hand forward, push the straight leg back, and bring the arm forward. Exhale, bend the leg, pull it closer, straighten the body a little bit. Now from here, holding the back foot, bend your arm, go onto a bent arm and really pull back. If you've got a back problem, hip problem, especially knee problems, just stay in this position. Don't follow me. Otherwise, you turn, you Look towards the back leg and you pull back. And two more. Good, everybody. Straight to the bottom leg. Cross this leg over. Push it against, up against this leg. And turn your head. Now, don't just let it be there. Push gently against the leg. We've got one more stretch to do for this leg. Pull it in. 
now you can see I've curved on the other side that's what you want and straighten the leg good everybody two more breaks and relax push up legs coming into the center breathing and exhale when you're ready arm forward push the leg back knees will tighten two more breaths good everybody relax Hold your foot, you're on a bent arm. You can come into this position if you prefer, like we did on the other side. Otherwise, on a bent arm, again, knee problems, don't follow me. Turning your head, pulling the leg back. Good everybody, straighten the bottom leg, cross this leg over, make sure your toes are turned towards that foot and gently push, so you're resisting. Two more breaths, don't sit in the shoulder yet, now relax, pull the leg up. Nice stretch on this side and let's give that leg a go. Two more. And relax. Well done everybody. Well done. Let's come up. Legs in a V. I know some people find this one difficult, so just do what you can. Take a deep breath in. We're going to start with the arms. We're going to exhale, hook the arms with the elbow and spread out the fingers. Now curl the fingers into a fist. Relax. Breathing in. Other side, exhale, hook with your elbow, relax the shoulders, spread out the fingers. Curl the fingers into a fist. Good, everybody, and now take a deep breath in. Place your hands under your chin and curve your spine. Now, as I always say, if you can manage this, that's how far you can go. Perfect. Even if you're stiff, I do want you to try this with both legs straight. Go slightly forward. If you find your knees starting to lift off the floor, don't go further. Even if somebody else, maybe a friend, can do it with you or me. Because if you bend your knees, your hamstrings contract again and we want to stretch them and the inner thighs. So from here, round the back and we're going down. Placing the elbows on the floor, and by the way, this is called the crocodile pose. The crocodile, yes. For those overseas in the States, alligator. The alligator pose. Hold it there. One more time. And relax. Coming back up, bring the legs in. Place your one foot, if possible, either in front of you on the floor or on top. We're going to take a deep breath in and we exhale. Rest your hands in your lap, turn your head over to the one shoulder. Center the head. 
uh, go to the other shoulder. Swap your legs. Breathe in again. <clears throat> Arms up, excuse me. Breathe in. Exhale. Rest your hands in your lap. Tilt your head. Center. Tilt your head the other way. Thank you for joining me this morning in this class. I hope you enjoyed this different 